This is a short video to show how to manage SOLIDWORKS toolbox parts within the DDM, PDM, PLM environment. Uh, we're going to start off by taking a quick look inside DDM. I've laid my screen out here with various tools on the screen so that you can see what's happening during the import. So if I drop into the PDM integrator menu here and I drop into DDM, if I look down my category browser, at the moment I can see that I don't have any hexagon flange nuts saved to the database. So that's what we're going to look to import. Now I've set my workbench as my current working folder so that anything new created is automatically stored in there. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go into the SOLIDWORKS toolbox. So if I go into the options here in SOLIDWORKS and choose this option, OK, and go into configure, then we've got the toolbox here. Now, I'm already in the area that I need to be in. However, the first thing that you need to do is you need to go into define user settings. OK, so if I go to the home screen, down here, define user settings, and I've chosen the option to create individual parts from the toolbox, not part configurations. We can support both within DDM and there's a separate video to show you how to create the part configurations. The other neat thing that you need to set is where the uh, the export directory for the part is going to be and I've said put it into the DDM working directory. Okay so let me go back into my fasteners. I'm going to drop into nuts and I want the flange hexagon head. Okay so the next step that you need to do is you need to create a custom property called description and the reason for this is that we have a CAD parameter mapping tool within DDM that's explained on another video uh, where we can uh, map the parameters in the CAD environment with the parameters inside the database environment. Okay, so if you create this attribute then obviously at the moment it appears blank on the screen. The next thing I want to do is this option hidden away down here allows me to export this information to a spreadsheet. Now it gives you the name for the spreadsheet here, okay, 416, whatever it was. Um, and if I drop into that directory now, what I can see is here is the Excel spreadsheet that was exported for me. If I then open this spreadsheet and I drop it into edit mode, we can see my extra column here. Now, the first thing you need to do is set the format of this column to a general cells. And what that allows me to do is I can now concatenate because what I want is my description to be M5 hexagon flange nut ISO to this standard. Okay, so I can say equals concatenate and I want to take uh, A6 comma double quote space double quote comma and D6 close brackets. So all I'm doing is pulling those two descriptions together. If I drag the bottom right hand corner down it will create all of my descriptions. So if I save the spreadsheet I can then close the spreadsheet and then back from the toolbox environment I can re-import that information straight from the spreadsheet and it populates the data here. So the next step is to create the parts. So I'm going to create the parts here. Uh, the seven parts are about to be created and it might take a couple of minutes, it won't because it's pretty quick. Uh, so that's now creating the individual files in my working directory. Okay. Another thing that you need to do is in the client configuration option of DDM, go to the SOLIDWORKS tab and choose allow toolbox components to be renamed to match DDM part number. Okay. If you modify this, you need to then save it and then close this dialog. So I can come out of the toolbox now, save the changes, I can close this, uh, and the next thing I, I can see here, this is my working folder where all these parts have been created. If I look at these now and look at the properties, they are read-only, and I want to change that. Okay. So, back in SOLIDWORKS, we have a utility that copies, and this macro is available from CSI if you contact the support desk, 
uh, it will copy the parameters from the configuration specific properties in SOLIDWORKS across to the custom properties because that's what we map with the DDM attributes in the database. So I'm just going to press the button and it will cycle through uh, the seven parts that we've got on the screen and it will create those uh, or update those files for me. Okay, so now that that's been done I can go to my uh, import tool. Now at the moment I've got DDM configured at an admin level to automatically assign new part numbers for all of my library parts. If you want to you can have the option that it will prompt you with each part so that if you've got existing part numbers that you use as a company for those parts you can assign them at that point in time. Okay, so I'm going to go to the uh, the import directory tool uh, again available from CSI. It's one of the DDM utilities. So uh, if you don't know where this is, uh, contact the support line. And I simply tell it to import the parts in the working directory. See, so I've highlighted working directory here. So if I now run the import, what it's going to do is go through those parts one by one, which is why I've laid the screen out in this way. Now, if we look on the right hand side here you'll see that it's actually stepping through each part individually and as it saves it to the database it's it's renaming it under its database file name okay so it just should take a couple of seconds okay just a couple more so each part's being created as a separate part a preview's being put in the database it's been renamed Okay, so we've imported seven components. If I drop back to SOLIDWORKS now, okay, I can drop into the database. In fact, we'll full screen now. So if I drop into DDM now, what I have in my working folder, in my workbench, are the parts with a new correct part number and description. Again, as I said earlier, you can have it so that this prompts you if you want to use existing parts recognized by the company. Okay, so the next thing I've done is I'm going to select all of these flange nuts and I'm going to categorize them all. Okay, and I'm just going to step down. So I'm looking at purchase parts, fixings, uh, go to nuts, and I'm going to assign them all as hexagon flange nuts to ISO 4161. And I say OK. So we can see that we've assigned the, uh, the category attribute here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to release all of these because they're currently work in progress. So I'm going to release them all, which is going to lock them down and stop people modifying them as their standard parts. And I will release the lot. OK, so releasing them automatically removes them from my workbench because they don't need to be there anymore. But if I step back to my category browser and I search for hexagon flange nut, here's all my nuts. If I then want to load one of them, I can then load it straight into SOLIDWORKS and there we go there's my part so I could use a DDM now as a library and have proper part numbers assigned to all of the all of the items